let me take you through my hair care routine for fine oily and damaged hair if you're new to my channel and if you're not welcome back i'm mike i'm who i'm a hairdresser a l'oreal color specialist a makeup fan and a skincare lover in today's film i will be taking you through my hair care routine for fine damage and oily hair so if you want to find out what products i use for my fine oily and damaged hair then you better keep on watching What is the story everyone? In today's film I will be sharing my hair care routine for my type of hair. First things first, we do need to recognize our hair type to find out what will work best for us. And number one question I found in my comment section down below is people have certain hair concerns. So you guys, the way I'm gonna tackle this is I'm gonna talk about my hair concerns and what works for me and what products work, work for my hair to achieve what I need. So if we look at my hair, right, my hair is naturally oily. Well, my hair is not oily, my scalp is oily. My skin is also very, very oily. So my hair gets oily quite quickly. Now, I would probably wash my hair every second day and at the moment my hair is actually fine and it is clean, but at the moment it's very, very hot in Dublin and when it's hot, I could wash my hair every single day because I just hate that stickiness and hot feeling in my hair. So like that, we determine my hair is oily. So we need to use something that's for oily hair and also my hair is damaged well it's sensitized as we can see i do have a bleached front piece and that piece is sensitized so we're already tackling two hair issues one it's oiliness and two it's damaged hair also my hair is very fine and i like to style it with loads of body and add as much texture so i'm going to tell you what shampoo i use what conditioners i use what masks i use what styling products i use to get what i have on my head starting off you guys we're going to talk about the shampoo that i use the most and that shampoo is bandivalin by kerastase if you're a regular viewer of mine this is no surprise that bandivalin is probably my favorite shampoo on earth because like that it's a balancing shampoo that is made for oily roots and dry ends this shampoo will balance the sebum in your scalp giving you longevity to your hair and also it will hydrate your ends this shampoo is absolutely brilliant because like that it gets rid of any oiliness in your scalp also it controls the sebum that creates oil that appears on your scalp so we're gonna get longer out of our hair but also it hydrates our ends so we're getting two in one we're getting oily care and we also get dry hair care as well so this is shampoo that I absolutely love there's many shampoos for oily hair I made many films about oily hair so if you want to go back around and watch them but in today's film I will be using this so you guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera I'm gonna wet down my hair and for change I'm gonna shampoo my hair on camera my hair is wet so let's grab my bun divilant and like that we only put a tiny bit on our hand because we only need a tiny bit so this is probably the amount that I use and this is obviously my first glance so first things I'm just gonna work that through my hands and work this product through my hair and we do not expect lather on our first shampoo so like that I'm just gonna start scrubbing and breaking the surface tension and dirt that appears on my hair so as we can see there's barely any lather and that is normal so the first shampoo all it does it just breaks that surface tension and just breaks all the grease and oil on her scalp when second shampoo actually works and delivers the goods that shampoo gives you so if you're going to notice that there's no ladder do not panic as you can see i'm not panicking i look very calm and what i'm going to do is i'm going to disappear off camera quickly rinse that off and we're going to carry out a second shampoo Right, time for a second shampoo. Also, professional shampoos do not have as many sulfates in them and like that. We're just gonna take a tiny bit more so they will not lather as quickly as a regular supermarket shampoo. So once more, we're working product through our hands and as we can see straight away, we're getting that beautiful lather in our hair. Obviously, Bandivalent is not the only shampoo that I use. I mix my shampoo, so Bandivalent would be 
my number one shampoo so that's like my everyday shampoo and then I would normally intermix my shampoo so I would use the Ban Ultraviolet from Kerastase which is a purple shampoo just to neutralize the bit of yellowness that sometimes comes through in my blonde piece and this also hydrates blonde hair also what I use once a week is the amazing Metal Detox shampoo because as we all know the water in Ireland is desperate and we need to worry about the hard water and just to get nice clean result from our color so those are the main three shampoos that I use but Bandivalent would definitely be my number one choice so as we can see the ladder isn't too high and we do not need any more because my hair is clean so you guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna rinse that off and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about my conditioners and treatments for oily damaged and fine hair so you guys see you in a minute when it comes to conditioners for fine damage and oily hair it really depends what you're looking for one you don't want to use anything too heavy that will be over hydrated two it depends how damaged your hair is so I really change it all up all the time what I was using for a very long time was the Sika flash conditioner from blonde absolute by Kerastase but I did actually run out of it so what am I using currently at the moment in my hair as a conditioner I am using the shine rinse from matrix and this is a brilliant La Mer treatment which also works as a conditioner because it does not weigh down the hair but it gives you that amazing beautiful shine so it's not going to weigh down the hair it does not contain silicone so you're going to get the volume but also it will give you that beautiful shine to your damaged hair another conditioner that I absolutely love is the hydrate shear from purology and purology is all-time favorite this conditioner is beautiful because it's lightweight it's gonna hydrate your hair and it's not gonna make it oily so what will this conditioner do this conditioner will hydrate fine hair so if your hair is fine and damaged this conditioner is brilliant another thing I use in my hair is the smart bond part 3 just to make sure I'm um, strengthening those bonds, especially for that piece over here. And I would use that once a week. But in today's film, I will be using K18 Leaving In Hair Mask. Now you guys, I reviewed this last week on my film. And if you want to enter the giveaway and find out more about this product, I'm going to link it above here. But this is absolutely brilliant. This is a leaving in treatment for damaged hair. And... For myself, right, I have fine hair and flat hair and I found that this product does not weigh the hair down but it really conditions your hair. So when it comes to damaged piece of my hair like this, this is absolutely amazing. So I'm just gonna apply a pump of that into my hair. I'm just gonna run that through my hair and you literally leave that in and your hair is like silk. So this is my fourth time using it. So now when I'm gonna shampoo my hair next I'll probably use the matrix Le Mer water but no so yeah when it comes to oily hair like that we have to find out what we need so it's the shampoo and parent of the conditioner that will look after whether it's gonna be for hydration but what I would recommend is always use the shampoo for oily hair then follow up with a conditioner for damaged hair and then when it comes to texture and fine hair we'll work on it with styling products so you guys I'm gonna leave that on for four minutes we're gonna come back and I'm gonna go through some styling products that I use to get volume and texture in my fine hair. Right you guys, so K18 has fully absorbed into my hair, so let's move on to styling products. Right, so what I do with my hair care routine is I battle the oiliness with the correct shampoo. I battle the hair condition, i.e. sensitized dry hair, with the conditioner and then I worry about my volume and texture with styling products. Now, a lot of people that have fine oily hair and want volume are afraid to use styling products. Now you guys, if you've watched me, you do know that products do not make your hair greasy. Products can make your hair heavy or build up on your hair if they're wrong products for your hair. So I did do a full film on that so you can go out and check this out. 
but the products I use for styling my hair, one, we do need a heat protector and for that I will be using Repair 10-in-1 from Siri Expert. I absolutely love the 10-in-1s from Siri Expert, the Vitamina Color 10-in-1 is absolutely amazing and this literally does everything for you. This has 10 purposes as one, so we'll repair the hair, it will detangle, hydrate the hair, facilitate blow dry, protect it from heat. And you guys, you're gonna be shocked the amount of product I use in my hair and my hair is never greasy so I'm gonna spray that in and let that sit in and work that through my hair so the repair is gonna basically work on repairing my damaged bit and is also gonna hydrate the rest of the hair and protect it from heat so now we protected our hair from heat so the next two products I will be using are really for texture and blow drying and those products are the two holy grails Plea and Rebel Push Up from Techniart. Those are my two go-to products when it comes to blow drying my hair. I put those products in and sometimes I walk out of the house and I leave my hair be and sometimes I blow dry it and those products give me great texture and volume to my hair. So I'm going to lash the plea into my hair, a generous amount. I am not afraid of product because what? I am using good correct products for my hair that will not make my oily hair greasy or limp, it's not gonna make my fine hair limp. I'm gonna work that through my hair and then I'm gonna pop a bit of Rebel Push Up Mousse and I am gonna work that through my hair. And sometimes I literally just put that in and leave my house. So you guys, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna blow dry my hair in very, very fast speed. Right, you guys my hair is blow dried and like that my hair what well, it feels clean it does not feel oily it does not feel way down I have nice volume and texture in my hair and of course my hair feels healthy and smooth so now we done everything we shampooed our hair we conditioned our hair we styled our hair so now let's move on to finishing products I might have too many right there they are they're my two finishing products and the two holy grails for finishing I always tend to use are super dust and savage panache from techni art now you guys, those are amazing products. Those are both powdery sprays and powders like. So they want, they give that nice tackiness, volume and texture to the hair. So what I normally do is I grab my super dust first and I literally just sprinkle that into my hair and that's gonna give me extra volume and lift and tackiness to my hair. And what I like to do sometimes is because I like those bits flicked out, I nearly put a bit of dust on my hands, I rub that through and I just work that in there just to get that texture into the back of my hair and I just comb that like this, right? And then I finish it off with a bit of Sauvage Pinage which is texturizing powder spray like. And that's just going to give me more texture and lift. And voila, there it is. My hair care routine for oily, fine, and texture lacking hair. So you guys, let's repeat on everything. Let's look at my hair first. We have nice bit of body, we have nice bit of texture, we have movement, it does not feel greasy, it's not weighed down, it feels hydrated. When it comes to hair like yours, you really need to think about it this way, what my hair needs. Prep your hair with the correct shampoo. I prepped it with a shampoo that controls oils in my hair and hydrates the hair as well. So shampoo is number one because you're prepping your hair with that. Then follow up with a conditioner. So that could be nearly like your primer or base for foundation, you could nearly say. So like that, we wanted to hydrate my hair. So I use something that's hydrated, but that will not weigh down my hair because I cannot use anything too heavy. So anything that's for fine, 
hair that's hydrating will be perfect then we build our foundation so we use styling products so obviously our heat protector our mousse oh and our pleat is our foundation so this is going to give the structure to the hair and then think of it this way we powder it over with powder that's going to help that all to last and make it look good and you guys i bet you anything my hair will not be greasy in 10 minutes or even tomorrow anyways guys thank you for watching today's film i hope you found this film rather interesting helpful and useful please like share comment and subscribe to my channel also check out my other social media and of course you guys please 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 do take care bye